for seeing the challenge, right? As in there can be multiple paths. So we need some terminology to tell, okay, what path it is, right? We need some way in like, if I want to, let's say, tell it to Anish or let's say Manikant want to send me, okay, my path is not meeting time. Okay. I'm, I'm failing setup. But how do I tell as in every time I cannot create a picture and show him, okay, this is the path. It's a big, big design, right? There'll be millions of paths. So I need some terminology to tell someone this is the path I'm talking on. Okay. And the terminology which is used is you will have flop name, this UFF one. So your path is, I'm not going at pin level detail. There is like one more advancement to this, but it's a basic level. I need some terminology to explain. So I'm, my path is coming from UFF one. Then it is going to this OR gate, UOR4, that is the name of this. Then it is going to this U and 6. And then it is going to UFF3. If I write this, no matter who it is, it is clear which path I'm talking about, right? Because UFF1 to UFF3 has multiple paths. So I'm being specific, telling, okay, UFF1 path, then it goes to UOR4. Then it goes to U and six, and then it goes to U fifty. Okay. Now there is another path which I want to tell. Okay, it starts at U F F one only, but then it goes to U and zero. Then it goes to U buff two. Then it goes to U O R two. Then it goes to U and six. And then it goes to UFF3. Okay. So I need some terminology to explain these parts. And this is the terminology which is used. Typically, you will also have pin names. And for simplification, I'm not doing that. Where once we go start and standing SQL port, I'll also explain that. But basically, we need some notation to explain these parts. And this is the notation which is used so that like we can talk to each other in the same language.